Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. Actually, we're going to jump over to the Organizer. The Organizer is a program that comes bundled with both Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements. It's primarily a media file management tool, but it also includes a number of tools for creating projects and for outputting your photos and video. To get to the organizer, well, there are a number of ways, but the easiest way is to just go from Premiere Elements or Photoshop Elements to the organizer by clicking on the button in the lower left-hand corner of the program, and that jumps us over to the organizer. Now, this is the media browser. This is all the media that's on my hard drive, still photos, video files, audio files, and there are a number of ways to categorize these. And among the many tools for working with your media files, my one of my personal favorites here in the organizer is the slideshow creator. If you just go over here to the create button in the upper right hand corner, you can select that and open up slideshow creator. But before I do, I want to select my media files that I want to include in my slideshow. Now you can use video files or still photos in your slideshow, but to simplify things, I'm just going to select my still photos album here on the left and just grab a handful of still photos just by holding down the shift key and grabbing the first and the last in a sequence. Now that I've got them selected, I'll go over to the create button in the upper right hand corner and select create slideshow and the program will put together a basic slideshow or a default slideshow based on these media files or in this case, my still photos. Now, as I've looked at in other tutorials here, there are a number of ways to modify your slideshow. There are a number of ways to grab more media and add it to your slideshow. There are a number of themes, in other words, a number of templates for creating your slideshows. These include music, these include cool special effects, and uh, you can even customize the music by selecting the audio tab using either your own music or music provided by the program. But suppose my slideshow is done and it's to my satisfaction, I'd like to share it now with the world. I can of course export it to YouTube or Vimeo, but what if I want to share it as a DVD or on a DVD? Well, the way to do that is to go through Premiere Elements. And to bring this slideshow into Premiere Elements, I need to export it as an MP4. And I can do that by selecting Export Video to Local Disk. So let's go ahead and select that option. We'll browse to, this is a good spot here, in the video category on my hard drive. I'm going to create a new folder here and just call it my slideshow. And we'll select that as the location the file is going to be saved. We'll just call this favorites. And let's set the quality up to 1080p. That'll give us a 1920 by 1080 slideshow and then click OK. And it's going to generate an MP4 of the slideshow, a video based on the slideshow. Once it's finished, the program will ask if you want to save the slideshow as media in your organizer. Let's go ahead and do that. We can also save it. If we save, if we select the save option, we're actually saving it as a PSE file. That is an editable slideshow. So we can come back and work on the slideshow later, but we are more interested in this case in exporting it. Let's jump back over to Premiere Elements. Here in Premiere Elements, I can add the media by selecting add media files and folders. I can locate our slideshow, which is in videos in the slideshow folder. There it is, our favorites. We'll add it to our project and then add it to our timeline. And there we go. There is our slideshow. And if I want to output it as a DVD, which I can do only in the Windows version of Premiere Elements. Of course, I can go over here and from the toolkit on the toolbar on the right, select the option to add a movie menu and I can create a menu for my slideshow. Click done. And under export and share, I can select the option to create it as a DVD. Again, an option only available on the PC version of the program. But that's how it's done. If you like your slideshow and you want to share it as a DVD, you simply save it as an MP4, add that MP4 to your Premiere Elements project, and then output it here, export and share it as a DVD. Now, if you want to know more about these kind of uh, methods of working, if you want to know more about all the 
tools in Premiere Elements, be sure and check out the tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. Want to know everything about the program? The moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements is available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon.